T. Is it correct? I just lost everything. Come on, Alex. Let me hold five dollars. Let me hold a 20 spot. Let me hold a Benjamin Franklin. Give me a chance, man. You had to take everything from me. Why, Alex? Why have you come back from the grave to haunt me? R.I.P. to the man, the myth, the legend himself, Alex Trebek. This one goes out to you. Out of all the games in the Super Nintendo collection, there's none I'd rather play than this. Jeopardy! The original Jeopardy, the first Jeopardy on Super Nintendo. It's a classic and it's a great one. And you can actually make out every pixel in the game. If you count all the pixels in this game, you can count up to 1,200, because that's how many there are. How many players? One. I would like to play against the computer as I have no friends. Huh? Wait, I didn't select a name. Ah, no matter, it doesn't matter. This won't live on forever. It's just going online. Inventions. States in song. Theater. U.S. states. Art. 20th C persons. Uh, I'm a cultured man. I know everything. Um, inventions. The answer is... The first patent issued to more than one person went to how Hunt and Singer for this. Singer, Singer! I know it! Singer, uh, sewing machine. Now you have to spend about 10 minutes spelling it out. Oh my god. And good luck if you press the wrong button, because you're going to have to start all over, my friend. And there's no spell check either. It's not like these newfangled phones. You better know how to spell the word. I have less time than I had before because I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, this is back in the days when you needed to know actually how to spell the word. You understand what I'm saying? And if you misspell the word, they're not going to know what you're talking about and you will get zero dollars. You'll go home a very sad man. Sewing machine. Right under the wire. Oh shoot, I pressed the right button. I'm right! That's right, and I spelled sewing machine right. How many of you Gen Zers can spell sewing machine? Sauron's the time of your life is set in the water district of this California city. Time of your life? What? Question mark? Sorry, that's incorrect. Let's see if she can get it. Nope! She don't know nothing. She doesn't know ham from the hamburger. Well, I also don't know it, so I'm just gonna let this one go ahead and slide on by. And I bet Alex Trebek knows the answer. San Francisco, he did know the answer. All right, well, I'm still in control of the board. Let's go to US states. I know almost all 55 of them. The answer is... The Wolverine State. 1847, it became the first to abolish capital punishment, the Wolverine State. That's gotta be Michigan, baby. Home of the Wolverines, you feel me? I'm on a roll, baby. And I'm right. Let's go for uh, 100. Yeah, I'm going to clear out the whole category. State that's completely surrounded by water. Well, it's got to be Florida. Or Hawaii. No, sorry. Hawaii. Final answer. Does that look right? Does that look right? Yeah, sure it does. Let's go ahead and say Hawaii. I'm right. Once again, player one. This region, originally called Indian Territory, now has no federal reservations. Is it Oklahoma? but it doesn't have any reservations. I thought it still did. If it's Oklahoma, then I'm... Yeah, he don't know. I want to say Oklahoma, but I could be wrong. That let that one slide by. Oklahoma, okay. Well, I should never doubt myself. Confidence is very important to have in this game. Deadly Double, baby! Yes! Give it to me! Give it all to me! I want all the money! Thank you, Alex. Your wager. My wager? Well, we just talked about confidence, and I want to, I want to show my confidence by doing 400. This western neighbor of Tennessee and Mississippi has the only diamond field in the USA. This western neighbor, Tennessee and Mississippi. D and Mississippi. Missouri? God. I'm pathetic. Now I gotta spell Missouri and I don't even know if that's it. Missouri, final answer. That's incorrect! What was it? Arkansas? The poorest state in the country has a diamond field? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm still in control of the board and I'm still in the lead. And that's all that matters. Yeah, so Midwest state whose native sons include Marlon Brando, Nick Nolte, and Henry Fonda. Midwest state. Well, probably Ohio or something. Nebraska. Ugh, uh, and Rob got it right. Congratulations, Rob from New York City. Picnic. Our town and a chorus line have all won this award given for writing, not performance. Is it the Mark Twain Award? I'm just gonna say Mark Twain Award, but it's gonna take forever to spell it. I don't even know if they had the Mark Twain Award back back then. This game came out in what, like 1990? And then I don't know if I need to spell Mark Twain Award or just Mark Twain or what. Mark Twain Award. Alex, final answer. 
I'm incorrect. What is it, Nobel Peace Prize? Come on. Oh, it's a Pulitzer. I'm an idiot. The only other award for writing that you can ever get. The Crown Guide to Play Six. What? Says Queen's Victoria's First Command Performance. I didn't even read the question. Jenny, don't do this to me, Jenny. Jenny, I didn't even read the question. You're a little cheat, a conniving little weasel, Jenny. It's where I came from with the banjo on my knee. Kentucky. Uh, uh, oh, Susanna, don't you care for me. Came from Tallahassee. It came from... Wait, came from uh, Alabama? I came from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. I'm from Alabama when I... Oh, I hope that's it. Good whole... Go sweet home Alabama. Every good song is written about Alabama. According to the Beach Boys, hit. It's the state with the cutest girls, California, baby. California girls. They got something special about them. They got a sparkle about them that you just can't quite put your finger on. California is also the highest meth producing state in the country. So that might have something to do with it. I'm not sure. Final answer. I'm right. And Elvis sang of this state's reign. Neil Diamond of its woman. Of course, Jenny chimed in. Kentucky rain. Whatever, Jenny. You got some weird knowledge in your head, girl. In alternative lyrics to I've been working on the railroad, these state's eyes are upon you. What? There's an alternative version of I've been working on the railroad? Alex, the answer, Texas. Texas has its eyes on you. Well, that's good to know. A painting of inanimate objects, not people. Uh, is it ob objectism? Still life. Okay. The answer is... American painter famous for scenes of the sea, rural America, and the Civil War. Oh, is that um, Norman Rockwell? Okay, I didn't know him. And I'm I'm, st I'm getting close to losing here, folks. In this Noel Coward's comedy, Madame Archie used Berlin's always to go into a trance. I don't know any of those words. I don't know what any of that meant. Coward comedy? What are you talking about? Jenny? Jenny's ahead of me now? The musical Sunday in the Park with George was based on a painting by this French artist. Who cares? French artist painted a musical? Georges Seurat. Great. That's great. And now I'll know that for the future when, whenever somebody asks me that. Just out and yeah, about on the is. street. Patty Page hit an official song with the Southern State. Patty Page hit. Patty, Patty Page hit. That was an official song of the Southern State. Nobody knows that. Tennessee Waltz. Oh, great. Now I'll know that for the future. The overly ornate style which succeeded mannerism and preceded Rococo. <laughs> Rococo. Is it like, um, romanticism? Question mark. Why would you buzz in if you don't have an answer? What, you got stage fright, Jenny? Yeah, wipe that smile off your face. The Baroque period. I have heard of that, but I don't know what it means. Congrats, Rob. Now you're in the lead. It's lonely at the top, isn't it? In 1907, he escaped from chains after being underwater in San Francisco Bay for two minutes. I'm going to guess it's um, the Magic Man, the original Magic Man, who is Houdini. He was the original David Blaine, and he was better than David Blaine. And I'm right. Back on top, baby. You can't touch me, Rob. And Jenny is a pathetic loser. Characters in this O'Neill play included a steamship stoker and a gorilla. Is it like uh, King Kong? The Hairy Ape. Also known as the story of my life. Okay, Jenny's right. Congrats, Jenny. Belgian surrealist with a penache for painting bowler hats. A penchant for painting bowler hats. That's more Rob's kind of thing. Yeah, Rene Margarita. He was wounded in the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Oh, it was the, uh, the governor, but I don't know his name. The governor in the front seat. Is that an acceptable answer? John Connolly, yeah, that's probably right. Damn it! Rob got me again. They're coming for my jugular. He invented the Franklin stove. Oh, Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin, final answer. Yes, I'm right. I, did, I deduced that with uh, inventive thinking. 2,160 people at a time could write on this at the eight. Uh, well, Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Come on, Jenny. Jenny, mess it up, Jenny. Jenny, mess it up, Jenny. No, Jenny. You stabbed me in the back, Jenny. I'll never forgive you. Edison suggested it be used to record phone calls and make clocks talk. Is it like a, 
a, a bird that can talk or something? Phonograph. The phonograph, yes. The answer is... He invented the Polaroid camera introduced in 1947. Kodiak. Co Kodak. I'm just going to say Kodak. This is a Hail Mary. I'm going to say Kodak. Incorrect? Come on, Alex. You knew what I meant. Edwin Land? Who the f*** is Edwin Land? F*** you, Jenny. I'm down to a measly $200. I need all these. Watergate Judge Cerisi was a friend of this controversial Wisconsin senator. I didn't know Wisconsin had senators. Thought they just had cheese. Mess it up, Jenny. Joseph McCarthy. Got it right. 1949, he resigned and Secretary of State turned to the cabinet the next year as Secretary of Defense. Defense, 1949? Defense, 1949? Was it Truman? No, it was uh, George C. Marshall. 1962, he resigned as head of General Motors, successfully run for governor of Michigan. Oh, Ford. Ford. Henry Ford. Henry Ford. No. What? Head of General Motors, you idiot. Oh, God. I'm going to say Henry Ford anyway. Because I already buzzed in. Maybe uh, Henry Ford owned uh, GM and Ford. Never know. That's incorrect. Well, by God, I should have guessed Elon Musk. Now I'm in the negative. Great. That's just great. Rob doesn't know. He just likes buzzing in. He loves the sound of that buzzer going. And Jenny's destroying us. She's destroying our spirit and our masculinity right before your eyes. George Romney. Mitt Romney's dad? Now it's time for Double Jeopardy, of course, folks, where anyone can become a winner. Forget the past. It's time to win by playing Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories. Great thinkers. Potpourri. Litter Utcher. World of Food. 60s Trivia. Science and Nature. Well, great thinkers think alike, Alex, and I'm a great thinker for 200. The answer is... Ooh, he's got the nice red background. 19th century German author of The Spake Zarathustra. So, German author of the 1800s. Well, geez, um, where do I start? Question mark. Rob doesn't know anything. He loves the sound of the buzzer. Jenny's like the know-it-all in class that has an answer for everything. She puts her hand up every time the teacher has a question. And she massages the teacher's back in between periods. Officially a fly that has this many wings. A fly has this many wings? Oh, two? Is it seriously two or four? It's probably four. Officially it has four, because I think they're double. I think they're double wings, Alex. I think they're double wings, Alex. And I'm gonna just, do I do a number? Do I do a number or spell out four? Is that acceptable? That's incorrect. Should I have spelled it out? What are the numbers for? He doesn't know. He loves the sound of that buzzer though. What is two? So it wasn't a trick question, guys. Flies have two wings. And of course, the bitch got the daily double, Jenny. She's wagering over half her money. UFOs. That was a gimme. That was the easiest thing I've ever seen. She's got such a commanding lead. I don't know if I can come the back. Is. Hairs living in cold regions are usually brown and in the summer, their color, uh, winter. White, white, Alex. I'm right. And I'm almost out of that hole. You know, if you get negative money in this game, you actually do owe Alex Trebek the money personally. So if you're minus 1600 for the day, you actually do owe the company $1,600. While prisoner of the Germans in World War II, this French existentialist wrote some of his greatest work. Oh God, Prince it. I'm gonna pass. Jean Paul Sitar. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Only hope remained after her box was opened. Pandora! That's how I listen to all my music. All of my music. I listen to Pandora's box. But do I need to say Pandora's or Pandora? Because it's her box. Thank you. Thank you, I'm out of the hole. Thank you, I'm out of the hole. Islam's holiest city is Mecca. I know it. I know it. I work with um, people of the Islamic faith at work, and they're great people. And, um... And I'm right. How does it feel, Rob, to be number two? The nation's largest single user of almonds is this chocolate maker. Oh. Hershey's. Hershey's. Yes, thank you. 
thank you. I'm coming for you, Jenny. Smile all you want to now because you're yeah, going to be crying by the end of the game. You're going to be begging for me to stop. The story of the Pyramus and her inspired Romeo and Juliet. Disby? What kind of nerdy crap was that, Rob? I mean, you just got the last six questions wrong, but you totally yeah, redeemed you. yourself with that one. I tell you what. Only Universal Studios Special Effects and Moses could part it. The sea, the sea, the sea, the sea. Do I do Red Sea? I'll do Red Sea. I'll say the Red Sea. Yes! Greek philosopher whose works were the basis for most scientific study well into the 6th century. Rob, give me a chance to answer, dude. I knew that. Answer is. Boost his confidence. In his will, he left all of his possessions to his friend and benefactor, Edward Hyde. It's probably, a uh, Dr. Henry Jekyll. What? There was a real Jekyll? The longest day of the year in Australia occurs in this month. Well, in Australia, it's the Southern Hemisphere. It'd be the opposite. So it'd be December, uh, December 25th. Yeah, December. That's what I said. It's the Southern Hemisphere. It's the, it's the opposite of the Northern Hemisphere. This dashing Margaret Mitchell's character has been called the most famous Charlestonian. I don't know. Rhett Butler. Like chop suey, this Chinese sweet was invented in America. Chinese sweet. Is it fortune cookie? That's the only, uh... That's the only Chinese sweet I can think of. Come on, Alex. Tell me I'm right. Yes! The Chinese sweet. Everyone's favorite dessert. <laughs> fortune cookie. When its coffee group was destroyed in 1869, again, yeah, switched to growing this. Probably like tobacco or something. Tobacco and coffee were big money crops. I don't know. Rob knows, though. Nope, he don't know. He just loves the sound of that buzzer, boy. I tell you what. T. Jenny, you done it again. The fruit of palm. Irv Griffin had a lovely bunch of them in song. The coconut? From the coconut tree? There you go, coconut. I'm right. Often mated with oil, it can be made from apples, grapes. Oh, vi uh, vin uh, vinegar? No, no, hold up. I'm gonna buzz in and then think about it. Mated with oil, vin uh, the vinegar. Apple vinegar, yeah, vinegar. Now I gotta spell vinegar. Oh, wine. It's wine. I only have enough time to put in wine, so let's just do wine. Damn it! Come on, Alex! Vinegar, that's what I said. But who makes oat vinegar and barley vinegar? That doesn't make sense, Alex. It doesn't make sense, Alex. Poe wrote the thousand and second tale of this Arabian Nights nice character. Arabian Nights nice character. Man, I'm sick of Alex and that smug grin he has in between every question. You know why he knows all the answers? Because he's got it written on a cue card in front of him. He's not a genius. He's not a learned man. He's just a guy with a mustache and all the answers right in front of him. And I know, you know, rest is. in peace, he is deceased now. And I don't want to speak ill of a dead man. But come on, Alex. The oologist. They study the ooze and the ahs. Bird eggs. Wow, what a cool person to be an oologist. You dedicate your whole life to bird eggs? What's wrong with you? Is. In October of 1965, he showed his operation scars to reporters. Operation scars? 1965? I don't know. Kim Kardashian? Lyndon Johnson. Now Rob's in first place. What a turn of events. 1963, Jean lost 72 pounds and started this company. Probably Weight Watchers. I'm not going to say Weight Watchers. Oh, God. I'm going to say Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers, I'm right. Thank you. I wish it was for more money. I'm still in third place. Let's do a uh, world of food for 1,000. I need that daily double. Yes! Yes! You've answered my please. Thank you, God. My wager. Well, I'm going to need a lot of money to win. And uh, the category of food is my specialty, Alex. So we're going to go all in at 2,700. Stem of a variety of lily known in Old England as sparrowgrass. Stem of a variety of lily. What? What are you talking about? Stem of a variety of lily? Known in Old England as sparrow grass? Is it like a tea? Is it something you smoke? Is it black tea or gray tea? Earl tea? Earl tea? God, this is bad. This is bad. This is not the right answer. And there's no space bar, which means it's one word. Oh my god. Tea. Tea, 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 tea. What? What? Wait. Why are there letters? What is going on? T. 
T. No. T. Is it correct? I just lost everything. Come on, Alex. Let me hold five dollars. Let me hold a 20 spot. Let me hold a Benjamin Franklin. Give me a chance, man. You had to take everything from me. Why, Alex? Why have you come back from the grave to haunt me? It's okay. <clears throat> no, it's okay. You know what? We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on because winners don't quit. And quitters don't win. Great thinkers for 800, Alex. The answer is... French soldier and mathematician whose motto was, I think, therefore I am. I know this. I think, therefore I am. This is, uh... And I think, I do think, therefore I am. This is, um, I've heard that before. Is it Jacques Cousteau? What does it matter anymore? I don't have any money. Just take away all my money. And now you've taken money from me. Now I owe Alex Trebek $800. Rene Descartes. Great thinkers, a thousand. This 17th century Dutch Jew was excommunicated from a synagogue for independent thinking. So 1600s Jew? Dutch Jew? Yep, yeah, they don't know. They don't know colors. Baruch Spinoza, meaning middle life. This geologic saw the emergence of early mammals. This geologic era saw the mammals. Is it not Jurassic? It's the uh, Paleozoic, Paleozoic era. I don't know how to spell Paleozoic. I'm sorry. I can't even guess. Mesozoic. Okay. Okay, Jenny. Well, I was on the right track. So I should deserve half that money. 1967, this representative was kicked out of the house for reprehensible behavior. Dang, who was this? Ross Perot? Adam Clayton Powell. I, I, I'm curious what he did. Did they get kicked out of the house of representatives? Though Jay Gatsby loved her, she was chained to Tom Buchanan. I watched the movie, but I don't remember the names. But I bet Alex Trebek knows the answer. Daisy Buchanan. Well, that makes sense. They have the same last name. Her last words to Alice were, Off with her head. Oh, it's the Queen. Oh, shoot. The last words to Alice. Queen, uh, Queen of Spades. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Show me Queen of Hearts. Yes! I'm out of the hole. Now, Alex Trebek owes me 200. And uh, I get to choose the last uh, category. The answer is... 1961, this oil billionaire installed a payphone in his mansion for guests to use. Oil billionaire, 1961. Should I say Exxon? I got nothing to lose. I kind of want to play in Final Jeopardy, though. So let me just hold on to my little 200. I wouldn't like to hazard a guess, Alex. I wouldn't like to hazard a guess. J. Paul Getty. Final Jeopardy. I'm not out of it yet, folks. I still have one more chance. If I get it right and they get it wrong, I win. Simple as that. That's right. Jeopardy, where the game where it barely pays to be smart. You can win a lot more money on Wheel of Fortune. The province named for Queen Victoria's daughter, Louise. Wait a minute, why didn't I get a guess? Where's, did you ask me? Oh, it's my turn. My wager. All of it, baby. All of it, baby. Why can I only go to 10? Oh, I was confused. 200 all of it and I would wager my personal money too if I could the province named for Queen Victoria's daughter Louise The province named for Queen Victoria's daughter Louise is it Quebec? Louise what what Canadian province sounds like Louise? There's a uh, Nova Scotia. There's Quebec. There's um, Alberta Is it Alberta that don't make sense, but I got to type in something and I don't want to lose to these losers. Alberta, that's probably a city in Canada now that I think of it. But you know what? I don't give a damn anymore and screw this game. The final Jeopardy answer is... Please! What is Alberta? Are you kidding? Oh, I thought that was the right answer. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait. Did I guess the right answer? Oh my God! Luis, what does that have to do with Alberta? That doesn't make sense. And Jenny got it wrong. She's an idiot and she lost it all. No, 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 Rob, tell me you, tell me you bet everything. Oh no, you got it right. Rob, Rob, you took, you took my heart out of my chest and you threw it on the ground and you look like Kanye West. Can I mention that, Rob? You do look like Kanye West, but I don't respect what you've done here today. You took a man that had nothing and you let me only have $400. 
I deserve that 6200 And you know what? That barely pays for one semester at Harvard that I had to go to. It takes a lot to be this smart. It takes a lot of money. And I came from a poor household. I should have went on Wheel of Fortune. I should have went on Pyramid Game. I should have went on anything else but this. This game sucks. I played my heart out for an hour and I got $400. I could have made more money working at the grocery store. But nonetheless, RIP Alex Trebek, you will be remembered always. And and Jeopardy will remain as the smartest person's game. As the game for smart people. Thank you for watching everybody. Please hit that subscribe button down below and click like button. It really helps my mental health when you hit the subscribe button and the like button and you follow me. I'm trying to get monetized and unlike player one, I've made a lot less than $400 on YouTube. I've made closer to what Jenny made today. Thank you for watching, goodbye.